in feng shui aspect, we can refer person's lifestyle. Some people will name the lifestyle as the life gua, ming gua, or personal gua number. You might be wondering why lifestyle is so important for that person. Lifestyle can reveal a lot of your details and others as well, just by knowing year of birth. For example, personal character, their luck in their career matter, or wealth opportunity and etc. To calculate your lifestyle is based on these two things, year of birth and gentle. Example, in this male lifestyle calculation for David, he born in 1985. We add the last two number of the year of birth and bring it into single digit. Then we got the number 4. And for the male lifestyle calculation, we always use 10 minus. Now we use 10 minus 4, which is the earlier of the calculation, the remaining number is 6. Therefore, David lifestyle is number 6. And now we do female lifestyle calculation for Emily. Example, she born in 1991. And we add the last two number of the year of birth and bring it into single digit. So the number is 1. For female lifestyle calculation, we always use plus 5. Now we use 1, which is the earlier of the calculation, plus 5, equivalent to the 6. Therefore, we know that Emily lifestyle is number 6. I also add this year of birth table for the lifestyle number 6 for your quick reference. If your lifestyle number 6, your positive trait is goal-driven. Because you are result-oriented, as you are driven by achieving specific outcomes, solution focus, or take decisive actions. You are self-accountable, be persistent to achieve your goal, and you always strive for improvement. The second positive trait is leadership, because you like to inspire and guide and empower to the team to achieve the shared goal. Because you also have a good strategy thinking as a having this ability to analyze the complex situations and capable to identify the opportunity and the risk. Systematic would be the one of the positive traits for lifestyle number six people because you like to organize approach, included your thought, your action, and your decision making. And you like to do things with the proper structure, order, and efficiency. If you are untrained with the lifestyle number six, you tend to have this negative trait, lonely. Fear of rejection. This could be due to your past experiences of the rejection or abandonment, which have made you feel hesitate to have a close relationship. Sometimes you feel struggle to express your own emotion and feeling, and you feel isolated because you are unable to connect with others on an emotional level. Ego would be another negative trait for lifestyle number 6. Because you have an excessive focus on your own needs, desire and interests. Because you have a strong sense of self center without considering other people's feelings or opinions. And you expect others to cater your own needs and desire without considering their needs. Another negative trait for the lifestyle number 6 is manipulative. You tend to manipulate approach to achieve your own desire, such as deceive others and get advantage from them. I hope you like my sharing today. If you need Chinese metaphysics consult and you wanted to learn more about how feng shui can affect your home or your office, such as for the feng shui assessment or you want to do personalized reading and you wanted to find out more in detail, do reach out to me on via TikTok, Facebook, YouTube to schedule a consultation. Do follow me for more tips and advice. And don't forget, share this video for the someone that you care for benefit as well. Thanks for watching.